Now in the back corner to the right, we see another troublemaker. He must be one of the cool kids. Just look at how half of his hair is spiked and dyed a bright red color. This halfway dyed red hair should remind you of the unilateral head pain associated with a migraine headache. Migraines also often present with photophobia, depicted by the white, shiny, cool glasses that he's wearing, in addition to the phonophobia and temporal throbbing pain. Now, treatment involves rest, avoidance of bright lights or loud sounds, and of course, pain control. Abortive medications can include Tylenol, caffeine, triptans, ergots, or antiemetic. And these headaches are debilitating and can last a long time. However, there are prophylactic medications like beta blockers or tricyclic antidepressants or antiepileptics. To maintain his reputation as the class troublemaker, he takes one of the anatomical models of an eyeball and crushes it with his bare hands. And notice that he's applying excessive pressure to the eye. That should make you think of increased ocular pressure like in acute angle closure glaucoma, another cause of a headache. Acute angle closure glaucoma is a disease of the trabecular meshwork that disrupts the outflow of aqueous humor from the anterior chamber, and that leads to increased anterior chamber pressure. Patients often present with sudden onset unilateral eye pain, as well as a headache, nausea, and a hard red painful eyeball. And diagnosis of glaucoma includes a slit lamp eye exam, tonometry to measure the pressure, and fundoscopy to look at the back of the eye or the retina. Now the gold standard for testing acute angle closure glaucoma is gonioscopy, which allows direct visualization of the iridocorneal angle, which is just the angle between the iris and the cornea where they meet. Treatment includes medications to open up the trabecular meshwork, such as topical timolol, which is a beta blocker, or IV acetazolamide. And in refractory cases, laser iridotomy. Standing in front of the cool kid, we see a student who is blowing his nose into a handkerchief and does not look so well. Looking closely, you can see the green discharge coming from his nose. The green color of the discharge indicates infection and inflammation of the nasal mucosa. This idea should make you think of sinusitis, another cause of headache. Along with headache and purulent nasal discharge, sinusitis can also present with facial pain over the affected sinuses. And sinusitis can be viral or bacterial, and the treatment really follows the etiology. To the right of this sick student, we see a pregnant assistant teacher. She's trying to clip her hair back with her clamp before dealing with the unruly students. Clamps sounds like preeclampsia, and should remind you that preeclampsia is on the differential diagnosis of a headache in a patient who is pregnant. Now, pregnant women presenting with new onset hypertension and proteinuria are preeclamptic. And for this patient, you need to administer IV magnesium sulfate as soon as possible to prevent seizures. However, the only definitive treatment is delivery, which can be induced if the fetus's age is greater